Hello world, welcome back to Razor C. Uh, time to do another comparison video today, talking about some short course trucks. And what we've got in front of us is the Traxxas Slash two wheel drive. Uh, this is the basic model that retails for $189. It's brushed, it's high center gravity. Um, it's kind of the entry level Traxxas. And then on the right, I've got the Team Associated Pro SC10. It just came out uh, a couple months ago. Uh, retails for $300 and is uh, basically another ready to run short course truck. So I thought this uh, comparison would be interesting because it's 2018 right now at the time of this video and the Traxxas Slash came out in 2008. So uh, the Traxxas Slash pretty much you know spawned an entirely new category of RC vehicles, the short course truck, and it's sort of taken off like a rocket since. Uh, still a popular class and uh, pretty much everyone out there makes a short course truck. Now that was 2008, the track slash really hasn't changed a whole lot in the intervening 10 years. And on the right, we've got the Team Associated Pro SC10. Uh, you know, in, in my opinion, kind of represents the best, newest, latest, greatest uh, truck out there on the market if you're looking for an RTR short course uh, two-wheel drive vehicle. So I thought I'd do a little comparison video between these two vehicles uh, in a bunch of different categories as usual, give you uh, my pick in each category and then final thoughts on these vehicles. So uh, this is the $189 Traxxas Slash. They also make a $320 um, brushless LCG version and I'll give you a quick thoughts on that at the end but I'm, I'm concentrating more on the basic entry level vehicle um, as it basically came out uh, like it did in 2008. So uh, popping off the uh, hoods. A uh, quick overview of these vehicles. I'll start with the Traxxas Slash. So a uh, pretty simple basic vehicle. Um, it's kind of based off the Rustler, the uh, Bandit, the Stampede, and what they did was come out with a short course version. So rear motor, it's got a brush, Titan 12 turn system, uh, waterproof electronics, really basic plastic servo. Um, on the steering side, it's got a, a steering a servo saver on the bottom there, um, nylon steering. Uh, one of the areas I don't like is really it's got unequal arms front and rear, so the front tires and wheels are actually different than the rear uh, wheels. So you know, you can't really mix and match them. You always have to make sure you're using the right size wheels. Uh, it's 2S LiPo capable and nickel metal hydride, obviously. Um, Non-adjustable body posts. Some fairly simple uh, shocks. These are the Ultra Shocks. I actually upgraded them to aluminum shock caps, but it comes out of the box with some plastic shock caps. Uses preload clips. Um, yeah, not a whole lot else to mention. Uh, the transmission is a bit difficult to get to. Internal uh, lead, it's got all metal gear, so excuse me, that's nice. Um, but yeah, really basic vehicle. So this, this is the very first short course truck that came out and um, you know, it, it got real popular. People like the scale lights. It's got nice fenders and nerf bars and stuff. So it's pretty well protected, fairly durable. Um, only real weaknesses are uh, basically the hinge pins and the shock caps in my opinion. Um, other than that, it's a reasonably durable truck. So, that is the slash. Let's move on to the Team Associated vehicle. So this is a Team Associated Pro SC10. And what it basically is, is based off the fifth generation uh, vehicles from Team Associated, which is the B5, SC5, T5. And so what they do is make a, a nice RTR short course truck, rear motor, plastic chassis, all metric, um, has nice aluminum shocks, uh, you know, equal arms front and rear, so you can run the same tires and wheels on all four corners. Uh, you know, normal bumpers, uh, adjustable body posts, uh, pretty decent steering, uh, nice turnbuckles and ball cuffs, very smooth, um, pretty standard stuff. And, uh, you know, overall it's 2S, 3S capable, waterproof electronics as typical in the um, RTR class, uh, metal geared servo. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, Pretty nice truck overall. So this is kind of current day, state of the art, and this is sort of state of the art in 2008. Now, um, let's get on to a few different categories. So the first category I wanna talk about is the build, and so these are RTR vehicles. Um, out of the box, actually the track slash really had no issues, um, it was built perfectly fine. Uh, nothing was you know overly tight. I think the slipper was just a hair loose, but that's not nothing uh, major. 
On the Team Associates side, I did find some issues like one of the screws on the, on the shocks was the wrong size. Um, the O-rings inside of these shock caps were basically too big. I don't know if they were deformed. You put the wrong parts on them, but they didn't really fit quite right. Um, other than that, the, the truck was pretty good. The, the mesh was a hair tight, and the slipper was also a little bit tight for 2S, maybe correctly for 3S, but um, you know I, I backed that down a little bit. So overall, I'm going to give the build actually to the Traxxas Slash. The build went better, uh, you know, actually out of the box, you know, really no issues. Maybe Trax has been building these things for 10 years, so they kind of got the process down. Pretty happy with the build overall, um, and it came out of the box really nice. Next category I wanted to talk about is the uh, design. And so obviously the Trax Slash, high center gravity, uh, pretty basic thing. Uh, unequal arms front and rear, so you gotta use different tires. Uh, rear motor, which is fine for a basher. Um, but overall, not, not a big fan of this design, not very high performance. Um, you know, not a whole lot to say. You know, I, I really can't stand the unequal uh, front and rear wheels and tires. That just makes no sense to me. So uh, the design, I'm actually gonna give the Team Associated vehicle, nice LCG chassis, uh, battery straps so you can use different size batteries. Uh, you know, just really uh, more of a race platform obviously team associates is known for their race vehicles but it's still actually uh, quite durable and easy to work on and so overall I really like the design um, nice thing is all the hop-up parts for the pro I'm sorry the SC5M and B5 will actually fit this vehicle so you can basically upgrade it to a lot of more uh, race spec or you know higher performance or whatever so design goes to the team associate next thing I want to talk about is performance so once again, is, is the Slash a high performing vehicle? No, it's not. Obviously it's got the brush motor. It doesn't handle particularly well. Um, I guess it goes over you know obstacles reasonably well with the high center gravity chassis. Um, the tires are actually probably a little better than the Team Associated tires um, in terms of getting through off-road stuff. I find these off-road a little bit better than the Team Associated stuff. Um, but overall, really, the, the Team Associated vehicle is a much higher performing vehicle. I mean, driving this off-road, on the street, on the track, whatever, it, it's just much better. It's, it handles better. It puts the power to the ground better. It's more precise. Uh, the, the electronics are better. Obviously, it's got a faster servo, metal geared, um, brushless, 2S, 3S capable. So overall, you know, there's, there's no comparison. Obviously, the Team Associated is a much higher performing vehicle. Next thing I want to talk about is durability. And so the Traxxas Slash um, and the Traxxas brand in general is kind of known for being fairly durable vehicles, right? Um, but honestly, I think a lot of that actually comes down more to parts availability rather than the actual durability. You know, I, I find like these Nerf bars pretty flimsy. I've broken one of these. Um, the, the steering servo saver is not particularly beefy. I've broken one of those. These servos are plastic gear, not particularly beefy. They, they do strip fairly easily. Shock caps pop off. You know, you definitely want to get aluminum ones for that. And one of the big ones is basically that all the hinge pins are made out of a really soft steel. So all, all these hinge pins, you know, I've, I've bent pretty much every single hinge pin in this vehicle. I do not find them durable at all and probably the biggest weakness in this vehicle. So durability actually is not that great on the Slash. I know people think they are great, it's not. Um, on the Team Associate side, I've broken absolutely nothing on this vehicle. Um, I've actually owned quite a few of these fifth generation associate vehicles, a B5, a B5M, and then obviously here now the Pro SC10. I find them very durable. Um, the plastics seem to be kind of that right blend of uh, basically rigidness and flexibility to in absorb impacts. Like this bumper does not look like a whole lot, but for whatever reason, I mean, I've, I've crashed into stuff and that bumper holds up. So. I find the durability on this vehicle actually quite a bit better than Traxxas Slash and uh, you know it's my pick in that category. So the next category I want to talk about is support and uh, Team Associate is a highly supported product. Probably one of the most popular brands here in the United States for a hobby grade vehicle. You go to any racetrack you'll see tons of Team Associate parts. Um, you call them up on, online etc. There's, there's a lot of support but the only company better than Team Associate, in my opinion, is actually Traxxas. You can get walk into any hobby store in America, basically, and they will have Traxxas parts. It's the number one selling brand in the U.S. Uh, it's the number one like supported brand in the U.S. Um, tons of aftermarket parts. 
if you go Traxxas, really, you're not going to have any problems getting parts. Team Associate parts come and go sometimes, depending on uh, you know what time of the year it is or something. But um, you can't always get Team Associate parts. Their manufacturing is not pumping out stuff quite as quickly as the Traxxas stuff. So, in terms of support, I think actually Traxxas wins in this area. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is maintenance and uh, RC cars are meant to break, right? So you are definitely going to have to fix things, replace things, upgrade things, whatever. Um, neither of these are actually super easy to work on, and the main reason being because they're a rear motor and they are short course trucks, which means you have a lot of body posts and bumpers and all kinds of things kind of wrapped around that transmission, making it a little bit difficult to get to. Uh, overall, I I find the Team Associate vehicle maybe a little bit better. Um, I don't know, like like this transmission is not particularly easy to work on or get to, I guess. Um, so overall, I think the Team Associate stuff's a little better. Like the servo pops out with two screws. I mean, that's kind of nice. Uh, the front end is really simple, not a whole lot going on. So overall, I think the Team Associate is slightly better in the maintenance category. And so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, uh, this is obviously a much cheaper vehicle. Let's talk about value. Um, this is $189, the tracks, I'm sorry, the Team Associate is $300. So obviously you're spending an extra $110 to get this. Now, is it worth it? Which is the better value? In my opinion, I think the Team Associate vehicle is a better value. It's it's higher performing, it's more durable, it's easier to work on, uh, It's it's got much better electronics, 2S and 3S capable. It is an extra $110, which obviously uh, it makes it uh, more expensive than this, but I think you get a ton more value out of that. Now the Traxxas Slash also comes in a VXL low center gravity version, right? The Traxxas Slash VXL uh, two wheel drive, and that retails for $320. So, $320 is a little more than this. Does it make it any better? And in my opinion, no. I actually think the Team Associate is still a better value, even more better than the Traxxas Slash VXL, which is $320. It's, it's, in my opinion, higher performing than a VXL. Um, the the electronics are actually 3S capable. The the VXL says they're 3S, but you know for the most part you can't really run 3S very long, and they tend to overheat. So they're really meant for 2S. So better performance. Uh, Better shocks, better suspension, uh, you know, better, you know, uh, maintainability. Overall, I think the the Team Associate is the better value. So, um, what's the conclusion, right? What 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 have we learned here in the last ten years? Well, it turns out that the Traxxas Slash is getting pretty dated, right? It came out in 2008, and back then that was fine. It was the only, you know, basically dog in the race. And so it had no competitors, but in the, in the intervening 10 years, the Team Associate vehicles or pretty much every other company has made a better short course truck, right? If you're looking for a short course truck, this is about the most dated, obsolete, lowest performing, um, I hate to say it, I don't want to bash on Traxxas, but it's not a great vehicle, it really isn't. You know, if you only have $109, and, or you have, you're like a little kid, you're like, you know, eight years old and you don't, care that much about going to your track and beating up on people this thing is fine it's great for having fun and you know I still recommend it to my little nephews and stuff that uh, when their parents are asking me hey what should I get I only have $109 to spend that's fine the track slash will work and and they'll have a lot of fun with it but if you can swing it you know or you know you're a little bit older you want to do more with your vehicle than just kind of drive it around at the park um, the team associate is a much better vehicle right it's it's just it's just light years ahead of where this was, right? This is still living like it's 2008, but it's 2018, uh, 10 years on, we've learned a lot more, we've got a lot more technology, we've got better improvements in uh, you know, tolerances, plastics, everything. And so it's you know it's kind of like comparing a Tamiya vehicle from the 80s to something like this. You know the Tamiya car is, seems like a toy compared to this, and in that way the Team Associate truck seems like a serious vehicle as compared to the Slash. So my pick, it's 2018. If you can handle $300, if you if you don't mind spending that much, you're gonna get a ton more I think out of the Team Associate vehicle. Um, I really really like this truck. It's it's one of my favorite vehicles actually that's come out this year. So anyways, uh, that's my pick for best two-wheel drive short course truck. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel as always and uh, you know look for more videos soon. Thanks, bye.